What's up guys, Rami here with the second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Saturday, June 27th. In this stimulus update video, we'll talk about the three most critical dates when it comes to the second stimulus package and three factors that politicians are looking at right now to determine the size of the second stimulus package and whether or not it will include a second stimulus check. This will be one of the most comprehensive videos you'll watch, so all I ask in return is please hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can update you on everything regarding the second stimulus check and second stimulus package, plus more money and finance news. So the first date we're waiting anxiously for is July 2nd. This will be when the Bureau of Labor Statistics releases the June jobs data that every politician is waiting for and this is the first factor that will determine what's happening with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package as a whole this report will help gauge the strength and speed of the economic recovery last month's report showed a decline in the unemployment numbers and everyone was like wow get ready for the crazy economic recovery v-shape recovery we won't need a second stimulus package this is, this is a bit misleading and dangerous. Yes, when we first shut down, 40 million people were laid off. So when states started reopening slowly, a lot of people got their jobs back. But we still have millions of people out of work. And there are estimates that say 14 million jobs are lost permanently, lost forever. And guess what? All these businesses like restaurants, bars, and whatever else that are allowed to operate at 25% or 50% capacity are not going to survive in a few months. What business can survive and turn a profit at 25% capacity? And what's very dangerous and will add to the misinformation that will be in this jobs report is that a recent survey by the National Federation of Independent Businesses found that 14% of employers planned to cut workers after making use of Paycheck Protection Program loans. So businesses took out those PPP loans to cover eligible expenses and they need only to use 60% of it on payroll. Then once they run out of that money, they'll lay off the people again. How terrible is that? Now, the second factor that politicians are looking at is the second wave or spikes in cases around the country. Some states already called for a pause on the reopening plans and some hinted they may need to shut down again, even though President Trump and Secretary of Treasury Steven Mnuchin said we won't be shutting down the economy again. But ultimately, that would not be up to them. Plus, people may not need the government to tell them to stay home. If people don't feel safe, they'll stay home. They won't go out to restaurants, they won't go to malls, they won't go to many places to spend the money and instead save their money. So that will definitely hurt the economy and slow down the recovery significantly. So senators need to take that into consideration and help the American people by sending them a stimulus check now. And at this point, it's not like we'll, you know, let's say if people will need a second check, we already need a second check, like now last month. The first one is long gone on past due bills, rent and groceries and whatever else. So the American people need the money. And speaking of senators, the third factor that these politicians will be looking at is poll numbers, starting with President Trump himself. This is an election year after all. So supporting and pushing for the idea of sending out a much needed stimulus check to millions of Americans maybe a smart thing to do. Now let's get back to important dates. So we said the first one was July 2nd when the jobs report will come out. The second important date is July 20th. This is when the Senate gets back from recess that starts on July 3rd. So they'll get the June jobs report, then go back to their home states and analyze this data. And when they come back on July 20th, they'll have a lot to talk about. And we'll hear a ton of different proposals and ideas, I'm sure, by that time. And they'll probably have to do something before July 31st, which is when the $600 weekly unemployment benefit will expire. So something will need to happen between those two dates. And the last important date will be August 7th. This is when Congress gets a nice one month vacation until Labor Day. So something must be negotiated, approved and signed before that date. That's that's my guess, but I really think there's no other option here. August 7th has to be the ultimate deadline for something to pass and be approved. 
So we'll see. That's all I have for you in this video. Let me know your thoughts about all these factors and dates in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and your support. Hope you guys have a great, great day. Please hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you haven't already and click that notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos for you. And don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and two free stocks from Webull with one of them potentially worth up to $1,400 when you deposit only $100. That's just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. Links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.